how to get iOS 7 or version 5.4 beta on the Apple TV third generation. So first I'll show you that this Apple TV is indeed version 5.3. And now I'll show you how to get iOS 7 or 5.4 on this Apple TV. So now that I have disconnected the Apple TV from the, the TV, I can now show you that this is indeed a third generation Apple TV, even though it might not look like it because it looks the same as a second generation. But for this to work, you must have the... Apple TV 2 or 3 and you must have the physical remote not the not a remote from an app or something you must have the physical remote and you'll also need to have the the power cable and the the USB cable so you can connect to the computer so once you have all that ready for you need to download the 5.4 beta firmware so now open the link which will be down in the description so Apple TV third generation iOS 7 beta 1 so as I said this is version 5.4 but it's also known as iOS 7 so you'll download that as a turret but if you want to download direct you must register your UDID which you'll have to pay for so you download the correct iOS 7 beta for your selected device so you will either download the second generation or the third generation Revelation A or Apple TV third generation iOS 7 beta 1 which is the one I downloaded since this is a torrent you'll need to download U uTorrent which will also have a link in the description and you after it's done downloading the torrent you'll have a file like this Apple TV third generation beta 1 and I'll have a readme text which you don't need to worry about and you'll have as you can see 5.4 which is the actual Apple TV third generation software so once you have all that you can now go to connect your device to the computer so first you'll need a power outlet to plug in your Apple TV power cable so you could plug that in Next you'll need to plug in your USB cable to the computer which I already have to the back of my computer. Now you have both wires ready and plugged in. So you'll need to put your Apple TV into recovery mode which is not a big deal you don't even need the remote. So first what you need to do is take the USB cable and take your Apple TV and plug in the USB cable first in the USB slot and then now once that's done you can see that the white light is not glowing because the power cable is not connected so this is what will make your Apple TV go into recovery mode so this is a vital step you must connect the USB cable first before you connect the power cable so now you can go ahead and connect the power cable Now, as you can see in iTunes, it'll say Apple TV in recovery mode. So now, we'll go on to the next important step. So, since I'm doing this on a Mac, you'll need to hold down Option and click Restore Apple TV. But if you're using Windows, you'll press Shift. You'll hold Shift and then click Restore Apple TV. So now I'll do that step right now so hold option and restore Apple TV and now you can let go of the option key and now you have to select the IPSW you downloaded earlier for the iOS 7 beta 1 so click it and click open now I'll say iTunes will erase and restore the Apple TV to version 5.4 and verify the restore with Apple do not worry Apple will will verify and you should have no problems so click restore and now it will start to extract the software now it's preparing for Apple TV restore and if you are unsure if 
this is going to work or not, it will work. I have already tested it and it works perfectly fine. And if you want to know if your Apple TV is in recovery mode, you can see how the white light will be flashing rapidly when you connect it. And now that it's in recovery mode and already connected and now it's waiting for the Apple TV to finish. So it's probably like booting up inside the Apple TV which we can't see because we're not doing an iOS or it's like no screen to connect to. But it will continue to download the software. And at all times keep the the USB cable and the power cable connected so it won't interfere with the beta installation. And now it's restoring the Apple TV software. Now it's verifying the Apple TV software with Apple and I'm pretty sure this will work and you'll get this message at the end which will ensure that it works which will come up soon enough and now the verifying is almost complete and it's restoring the Apple TV firmware so that means that it has been verified by Apple so you have nothing to worry about now because now it's installing the firmware without any errors And now this is the message you want to get. Your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. Please disconnect your Apple TV from the computer and reconnect it to your TV. So that means that it was successful and now you can connect it to your TV and I will show you when I connect it back to the TV that it is indeed version 5.4 or iOS 7. So now iTunes will disconnect from the Apple TV. So now I'll go and connect this Apple TV back to the TV and now as you can see the Apple TV has booted up I started the recording a little late but when you first connect it you'll see an Apple symbol and then you'll go to this so this is where the actual remote comes into play because if you don't have the actual remote this won't work because it didn't connect to the TV yet so once you got to the screen click the middle button for for yes for English or whatever language you are now say setting up language to English and now I'll ask to send a report to Apple this is your decision but I'm just gonna go with no thanks and now it's loading up Do not worry if it takes a little long because this is a new software so now it's done loading up I have a direct connection to my Apple TV with the internet cable so you'll have one more step to enter your Wi-Fi password but I skipped that because for the sake of this video so once you have finished all that you can I'll now show you that is version 5.4 so I'll go to general about and as you can see it's version 5.4 and uh, 1080p HD re resolution to prove that's an Apple TV as well. And that'll be it for this video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also check out my site and my Twitter, which will also be down in the description. And I will post another video when Beta 2 comes out and with the other Betas. So thanks for watching once again.